uh, in the Quran it is he who sent down the um, the Torah and the Injil yeah yeah so if we if you as a Muslim are called yeah. to follow and look to the Torah and the Injil then would that not mean you would become a Christian no Why? the context was Torah and Injil first of all the Old Testament and the no, I, I, no I want according to the Quran According to the Quran, yes. you tell me. What's your understanding by it? My understanding is the Torah and the Injils is the um, Old Testament and the Gospel. No. What is it? The Old Testament, we don't call, we don't call it Injil. No, no, no. The Injil is the Gospel. No, it's not Gospel. What is it? The book you have and the one Allah approved is two different books. Okay, how, how did you come to that conclusion? Because your book, you got 40 authors. The God yeah. in Jil, the one yeah. Allah approved in the Quran, yeah. the author is one, Allah only. So where is this in Jil? That one, the in Jil, that one is gone. Because Allah never asked, never promised to look after previous books. Okay. But He promised to look after the Quran. I would disagree with you there. No, why would you uh, disagree with me? I'm using I'll, your, I'll I'm up, using the Quran. I'll bring it up, hold on, hold on. Okay. So, so, Surah, sorry if I mispronounced, Surat al kaf uh, 18 verse 27 uh -huh. says recite what has been revealed to you from the book of your Lord none can change his words okay what's and the context is, and, and, and do, would you not agree what is the context what book is that yeah no I, I want the context no, what is the book I will tell you it's what book about Quran. wait, wait. Was thank you so, but, but, okay but, 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 no finish. but let me finish. okay finish but would you not agree that the Injil, the original Injil you're talking about or whatever, is Allah's words as well? So how can it be corrupted? No, now you diverted the topic. I want that verse you quoted. Do not go somewhere else. No, I want the context of that verse. What does it say, first of all? But if we keep the same no, no. standard... Wait, wait, wait. Did Allah talk about the Injil in this verse? No, he didn't. Did he talk about uh, no, Torah? He didn't, but well, okay, this is my thank problem. you. What did he talk about? Quran. He's talking about Quran. Thank but you. This is so my I problem. want where Allah said he will not change the Gospels and Torah. No, show no, me. No, 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 but this is the problem. Can you show me? The Injil is no, Allah's words. Do you accept the challenge? Huh? Accept my challenge. The verse now you give me, yeah. it's about the Quran. Allah asked the Prophet to recite the book, which is the Quran. And Allah said, no one can so change that's, the... That's not, God, not, like oh yeah, that's not my point. Allah, no, my point now, the context, you showed me the verse. I, I've understood your point, but what I'm saying... So, okay, so you is, understood my point. If yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. But what I'm saying is, is that if we keep the same uh, consistency, right, and the injil was Allah's words before the coming of the Quran, then how could it be corrupted if it's now, his words? Now, if now... Allah, Allah will never let his books be corrupted. So yeah. how could he have let the angel go like that? No, that, let, that let, let me explain to you. In the entire Quran, I'm challenging any Christian here. In the entire Quran or in the Hadith, there is no way you can find out where Allah said no one can change Torah and Injil. If Nobody you give me that twice. verse, no. If you give me that verse, clear cut verse, then we can discuss about that. And also, words. Allah told us, First of all, Allah told us, and you need to understand the context of that verse. No one can change the words of Allah. According to that verse, it's about the Quran. It's not about Allah because never promised to look after the Torah, Injil, previous books. Because Allah promised the rabbis and the monks to look after previous books. In chapter 5, verse 40, 43 to 44. Allah told us. But Allah promised to look after the Quran in chapter 15, verse 9. But the thing is, is Any where other do question? we reconcile the fact that the Injil was still Allah's words and Injil, he let it be corrupted? Injil, Allah told us in the Quran, was revealed to Prophet Jesus and it was corrupted. I can give you many verses, even Torah is corrupted. I can give you many verses in the Quran. If I give you like example, chapter 2, verse 75, 79 I mean, chapter 3, Verse 75 and 80 and verse and 80 and verse and yeah, chapter 3. Allah said also in the, that verses, in I think it's chapter 85, if I'm not wrong. And also, Allah told us chapter 4, I mean, chapter 5, verse 13 to 15, verse 17, verse 19, verse 40, 41. So, Allah told us. Basically, Allah clearly told us in chapter 5, verse 13 to 15, Allah told us the people of the scriptures 
concealed the truth. That's, that's the reason Allah sent Prophet Muhammad to, ex to clarify the things that they concealed from the previous books. So as me as a Christian, right? Yeah. Can you not see where I would find it hard to accept that there is uh, corruption in our books when, let me finish, when, um, when I cannot see any proof of the original gospel, the original Injil. That's my problem. I have no evidence. If the evidence was there, I'll take your word for it, but there is no evidence of the original Injil, sir. How do you expect me to believe in this? Okay. I don't understand. Do you, okay. That's a good point, but what I'm saying, you people even, your scholars, not me even, yeah, yeah. your scholars now they agree with Muslims that they don't have the original Gospels. It's clear cut. Um, yes, what, you give you me... Name some scholars? Yes, like Dan Stewart from America, US. Yeah. He's the one even who said, I can give you the link now, I can show you. Yeah, yeah. He wrote about 20 books, that guy. He's from US. I think he's in New York. That guy, even now Christians, do you know why Jesus, the, the New Testament is, is corrupted? I can give you even within the Bible. Let me give you one verse. The Gospel of John, 1 John, chapter 5, verse 7 to 8. Trinitarians, ask any Trinitarian here, they will tell you that verse is edited. It was not in the original manuscript. This is clear, tells you, that they, you do not have the original Gospels. This, mm, no, because there is a difference between the KJV Bible and the ESV, the NIV. So which one is the original? You the tell e me then. The KJV is our most accurate translation from the Greek. So the no, ESV you're not getting and the, the point. NIV no, and all of I'm these, not talking they, about. They, I'm pretty sure they put in that um, uh, that we don't have the original manuscripts or whatever. So if you don't have the original manuscript, no, 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 but what I'm saying is the KJV does. The KJV no, no, does. no, no. KJV, whatever you have, you say now that is translated from Greek. Even yeah. uh, with the Greek Bible, it's not original. They do not have the original manuscript of the Bible Gospels. All is edited. Now let me give you another verse. Yeah. Unitarians, some of them are here, they do not believe Jesus is God, some of them. They believe Mark chapter 16, verse 17, 18 is edited, it's corrupted. Because it says, if you drink deadly poison, you will touch sick people. It won't harm you after drinking it. And you will touch sick, you will place your hand, your hands on sick people and they will get better. You understand? So now they do not believe to drink a deadly poison, it won't harm you and you place your hands on sick people and then they get better. No one believes that. So no one can drink here deadly poison yeah, and come to me. To yeah, no, you can read the context. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I now, after, let me give you another after. verse. Yeah. Okay, do you believe Paul, he seen Jesus? Paul saw Jesus. Yes, do you believe that? In person. Um, in person. Do you believe that? I'm going to say no comment on that because I, okay. I, I haven't fully delved okay. into that. Yet. Okay, I'll give you a verse. Paul yeah. claimed he seen Jesus mm -hmm. and Christians believe that. Yeah. So in Acts chapter 9, verse 7, yeah. Paul said the people who were with me, they had voice, but they, they, never, see, they, no, they, had, they never had the voice, but they seen light. Again, same book, Acts again, chapter 22, verse 9, yeah. Paul said the people who were with me, they seen the light, but they never had voice. Other way around. So now, let me come to that point. You tell me, who would you believe, Paul or Luke? Who would you believe? I don't know enough about that topic. No, okay. Who do you who would you believe, Paul or Luke? Now I'm giving you a verse. I follow. We're we're cool to follow Paul. Paul. Yeah. Not Luke. Would you follow Paul or Luke? Um, Paul. Paul. Yeah. Not Luke. Yeah, I read. So we, okay. I read Luke's gospel. But we're called to follow Paul in scripture. So you are told to follow Paul, not Luke. Yeah. So now you tell me, who is the disciple of Jesus, Paul or Luke? They both are. No. But at different times, is, uh, do you know what dispensationalism is? Okay, now I'm giving you a verse. Paul, in, the, in Acts chapter 1 verse 3 yeah. to 9, Paul said, Jesus was taken to heaven 40 days after he was resurrected. Listen, yeah? And Luke... Chapter 24, verse 51 said, Jesus was taken to heaven same day after he was resurrected. So which one is correct? Uh, Paul was not there. 
I've heard the argue, I've okay. heard this argument before. I've heard it debunk though. That's the thing, but I don't know how. Okay. To so it. now you tell me. No one can debunk it that no, way. No, no, no. I've seen a debunk. No, that because one. Paul, uh, because one. Paul said Jesus was taken to heaven forty days after the resurrection. No, there's something in the context. Okay. Wait, wait. Let me. Yeah, no, the context is there. I can give you the verse. It says Jesus preached his disciples. He appeared to them, preaching them about the kingdom and the gospel. 40 days and then he was taken to heaven no, with this one let me go away and you can go and search up okay well, now well, one, well, one okay now look yeah, yeah. chapter 24 verse 51 Luke said Jesus was taken to heaven same day after he was resurrected so now this verse of Luke tells us we believe what Luke said according to you you have to believe Luke not Paul because Paul was not there that time so now my question to you is if Jesus was taken to heaven same day after the resurrection, how can Paul see Jesus? How can he meet Jesus when Jesus was not there after the resurrection, same day after the resurrection? Sure, uh, you tell me. I'm pretty sure it was a vision though, not uh, in person embodiment. Jesus was there, kind of what vision? It doesn't say vision uh, I'm pretty there. Sure it, was it doesn't a vision. say vision there. I may be wrong, you know. I may be wrong because I haven't looked into this as much and I'll go away. And also and you can tell the verses, said. the verses, or both of the verses. Paul is lying. One verse said, the people who were with me, they seen the light. And another verse, he said, no, they never seen the light, but they had voice. Another verse, they never had voice, but they seen the light. See, he's lying himself. And you know what, Paul? Yeah. So now, let me come to the point. Do you believe all the Bible verses is inspired by God? All of the Bible's verses are inspired by God, yeah. Do you believe yeah. that? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so now I'm asking, can my opinion be inspired by God if I don't have command from God? Wait, say one more time. If I have no command from God, mm. can that be inspired by God? And I speak my own um, perspective. Yeah. Can that be inspired by God? Yeah, it can be inspired by God. No, you're not getting the point. What is the point? I'm saying if I have no command from God, but I speak my own opinion. No, but it wouldn't be your own opinion, though. That's the thing. No. If the Holy Spirit makes me speak no. something, it's going to be inspired by God. Okay, now you're not getting the point. I'm saying if you, I have no command from God and I speak my own opinion, can that be inspired by God? But this is what I'm saying. Is it no, I, I, I want you to answer. Free? No, I want you to answer. I can said I have God no command from free? God. I'm saying to you, I have no command from God. Like now, if I insult Jesus or the Holy Spirit or God, are you telling me God's inspired? Wait, you say one more time. Then? If I insult God now, like yeah. let's say if someone insults God yeah, yeah. or Jesus mm. or the Holy Spirit, yeah. do you believe that person is inspired by God or he speaks on his own? He's inspired by Satan. By who? Satan. Thank you. So now you saying you saying that because I ins someone insult if someone insults in God, okay yeah, if someone insults in God that means he has no command from God yes no 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 okay thank you so same Paul said in two Timothy mm. chapter three verse sixteen yeah. he said all the scriptures God is God's breath yeah, yeah. yes is God breath so now and you agreed with me if I speak of my own opinion and I have no command from God that cannot be inspired by God okay so Paul in many verses he said I have no command from God and I speak my own opinion so now you tell me in the 1 Corinthians Corinthians chapter 7 verse 12 chapter 7 chapter 7 go to have a look the one way 1 Corinthians that, chapter 7 um, verse 6 when you receive a love of God it will not leave 1 Corinthians chapter 7 yeah. verse 6 and also 712 725 but I speak this by uh, permission and not of commandment yes no command from God it says but I speak this by permission no no read, read again read again Read there. Go to 1 Corinthians. What? No, 1 Corinthians. No, wait, don't worry. Uh, I want to. Hey, no, no. hey, hey, I want you to. Go with. You can't do it. No, you can come Listen. to me if you want to. Wait. Listen to this. I'm not waiting for you, bro. You no. always interrupt no. me, bro. I'm not interrupting you. No, right no. Now, bro. I'm happy. Listen. I want someone. Hey, you to... want to debate me now? Yes, you want to I want anyway. Let's debate. So now tell me. Now, first of all, first of all, wait. I want you to go to Corinthians chapter 1 Corinthians. Listen. 1 Corinthians. No, 1 Corinthians. 2 Corinthians. 
1117. Yes. But it doesn't work by itself. You have to engage. That which I speak, I speak it. Yes. No, after. Wait, that which I speak. Louder, please. Louder. That which I speak, I speak it not after the Lord, but as if were foolishly in this confidence of those. And then? Carry on. Bro, what? See? How, how, you expect, how you explain that? Whoa, whoa, whoa. You, would you help him? I don't know. Would you yeah, help yeah, him? Okay, I'm okay. A good life. I don't mind. I don't mind he can help you. I, I'm a, I'm a so baby. No, anyways, you can talk yeah, another time sorry. anyways. Yeah, God nice bless you. Yeah. yeah. What's your name? Sydney. 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 Yeah. Nice, yeah. nice yeah. to talk to you, by the way. Yeah.